One, two, three, four, five, six. No, Timmy. But he promised. He said he'd bring Timmy up every day. I saw through the telescope the tower. No, Timmy. But your father gave the signal. We saw it. Timmy wasn't with him. I could see Father's shape, but no dog. Uncle Puppy just forgot to take him up, that's all. He gave me his solemn promise he'd take Timmy up there every morning. Something's wrong. Panicking over nothing. Now we promised we'd do some holiday homework. So buzz off. you get here? How is it possible you're here? Where's Timmy? Are you all right? Did you see those two men go out? Yes. Where's Timmy? We haven't got much time. Now listen, very carefully. These two men were parachuted one night onto the island to try and find my secret. How did they know about it? One of them, Johnson, learned just enough working with me to go to some powerful and greedy businessmen who want to control it all for their own profit. Which is why you wanted to work here secretly. And I made such a fuss. Never mind. This morning, as I was taking Timmy to the tower, these men captured both me and Tim. So that's why he wasn't in the tower. But I saw you. You saw a man pretending to be me and copying my signal. How could they know that I promised Tim would be there every day? And that when he wasn't, my daughter would be on the warpath? But father, where is Timmy now? You must not be seen here. You must get out the way you came and you must, must take this with you. All the information about my experiments is in this notebook. It's in case you don't get out of here, isn't it? Tim is in prison somewhere down there. In the tunnel going even farther under the sea. Now go on, and be careful.
Three. Hold it. Now hide. I don't know who you are or where you came from. Come here and let me see you. Good Lord. It's a boy. Now look, lad. Johnson, if you hurt this child. If you don't go home soon, there are going to be search parties out, and they're sure to come here. If you tell us everything we want to know and give us all your notes, we'll set you free, give you any sum of money you ask for, and disappear. George's bed hasn't been slept in. Burglars. Pretty useless burglar making a noise like that. And if I don't cooperate? Then we'll blow up your tower and all this equipment. But you wouldn't. You, you couldn't do that. Couldn't we? But my work would be destroyed. You'd lose everything too. If we can't have it, neither can anyone else. Either you tell us everything, or we blow you and the whole island sky high. It's no use. I have to give them my notes, George. I can't risk having that happen to you. I haven't got your notes. I did get Timmy free. He's hiding with the notebook. Then you'll have to find him. There. That's your uncle's note safe. Now what do we do about George? <coughs> Timmy will take us to her. Timmy! Timmy, where are you? The quarry! But why would George have come here? He definitely wants us in there. Hang on, we won't be able to see a thing. We have to go back to get torches. Oh, Martin, you're up early. What are you doing here? And why the spades? What's wrong? Do you know anything about George? No. What's happened to him? George isn't to him. She's a her and she's disappeared. Did you tell your father that George had discovered a tunnel, Martin? Have you seen her? If you know anything, you've got to tell us. I don't know where Timmy is, and I get lost looking for him. There are tunnels in all directions. Oh, we've got to think of something else. And quickly. No. Father, it's going to be fine. When the others wake up and find I'm not there, they'll be sure to come here to look for me. And if they don't find you and continue searching, they'll be blown up too. They're planning to blow up the island this morning. If they don't get the information they want. Blow up Kieran. I know this sounds mad. But that hole George found the other day leads to the coast and right under the seabed and to the island. It's not mad. Timmy's in there now, waiting to take us there. Have you got a torch? Will you ditch that man and come with us? You trust me? Yes. Anne, you're not to come. Will you run home and tell Aunt Frances what's going on? I will. I don't want to come, thank you. Come on. Anne! Anne! I've hurt my leg. Can you fetch help? 